air pollution from agricultural activities. In this video, we will explore agricultural reasons for air pollution. Why does it matter? What are the causes of agricultural pollution? What can we do to prevent it? Air pollution emission issues are associated with many sectors, which inter alia include power, transport, industry, residential, construction and agriculture. According to CCAC, agriculture contributes to 50% of all man-made methane and 5% global black carbon emission. Moreover, methane and black carbon impact agricultural productivity. Agriculture still contributes almost 50% in the Indian economy, employing 49% of the total workforce until 2014. Causes of Air Pollution from Agriculture Pesticides and fertilizers are the major source to contaminate the surrounding air. Nowadays, pesticides and fertilizers are mixed with new invasive species which are not found in nature for quick growth of the crops and vegetation. Once they are sprayed over, the smell and the effect of the pesticides are left in the air. Some mix with water and some seep into the ground which not only destroys the crops but also causes numerous health-related issues. According to TERI, higher usage of ammonia resulted in record high levels of atmospheric ammonia across India. Ammonia which is used in agriculture vastly breaks down into fine ammonium salt causing adverse human health and reduced life expectancy. Excess ammonia in the environment also contributes to acidification and eutrophication. Acidification The process by which addition of nutrients in soil causing decreased pH level which can have a variety of direct and indirect effects on plant growth. Generally, during acidification, changes in soil pH are mitigated by the release of carbonates and base cations from the soil. Source: Bauman 2008 Eutrophication The gradual increase in the concentration of phosphorus, nitrogen and other nutrients used in fertilizers in an aging aquatic ecosystem such as a lake. The residuals enter the ecosystem primarily by runoff from the land. Stubble burning has been an emergency in northern India for many years now during the onset of the winter months. The NCR region becomes a cesspool of carbon and nitrous oxide. The situation gets unmanageable during this time of the year because of many reasons like geographical positioning, seasonal change and lower temperatures, celebrations like Diwali and obviously stubble burning in neighbouring areas. The burning of crop residue has caused hazardous air in the surrounding areas, causing breathing problems, traffic accidents and long-term health issues like skin and eye irritation to severe neurological, cardiovascular and respiratory diseases, asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD, bronchitis, lung capacity loss, emphysema, cancer, etc. According to the Indian Agricultural Research Institute or IARI, farm fires increased fivefold in Punjab, Haryana and Uttar Pradesh in 2020. Measures to reduce air pollution from agriculture Changes in these activities can help reduce the air pollution caused by agricultural industry. Livestock management, like usage of livestock manure for vermicomposting, cultivating earthworms and biodegradable waste. Managing animal wastewater. Improvement in irrigation and usage of traditional methods can help in crops nutrient level and managing agri-waste too. Alternatives to open burning of crop residue, like using machinery to manage stubble rather than burning. 
policy approach towards subsidizing environment friendly agri products and practices all these practices can help in achieving crop growth reduce emission lower cultivation cost and improve local health if you want to know about indoor air pollution click on the link below and don't forget to like share and subscribe to switch on foundation